Just got to Target. This is the first time ever in my entire life I've been able to shop for CoverGirl in the makeup section at Target. So what we're doing today, I'm gonna go find my matte True Blend CoverGirl foundation. I need to find the perfect shade for me and I have all the other goodies at home. But uh, let's head to the makeup section. Super stoked to be able to shop for CoverGirl at Target. Let's do it. You might be thinking to yourself, Cart is a little overkill since I'm just coming to get foundation, but now that there are so many more options, you never know what we're gonna find. Okay, I switched to I switched to a cart this is, or a hand cart. This is a little ridiculous. We found cover girl. There it is. Oh. So many options. This is what we're looking for. We are going to be color matching as best as we can. I'm probably honestly just gonna get a bunch of shades because at this price, look. Hey, did you know that CoverGirl is certified cruelty free? How exciting is that? I'm very excited. As an animal lover, I think it's great like how it's going to work. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna get fair beige, a little bit of golden ivory. Okay, so we're gonna go with these two shades. Did you know that CoverGirl is certified cruelty free? I did not know that. Wow. Yeah. You're gonna need like this, this. Just take all of it. All of it. I have heard a lot of amazing things about this, and now that I can finally try it, thank you very much. Hey, did you know that CoverGirl is certified cruelty free? Did you know that CoverGirl is certified cruelty free? Oop. Oh yeah. Okay, we're going in for some brows. I'm gonna get a few different shades, just so I can make my hairs look very natural my way back into the studio from the store Ugh. and we are ready to film let's do it hey foxes welcome to my channel if you've never been to my channel my name is Kristen Leanne and I'm a cruelty free youtuber today I'm gonna be trying a brand that I have actually never gotten to do a full face on or try in general this is CoverGirl I'm so stoked to be partnering with CoverGirl on this video if you missed my last video I will link in the description box but CoverGirl is now leaping bunny certified yes Praise Jesus, hallelujah. We can use CoverGirl now. I'm so, 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 so excited. This is really, really big news. This is, CoverGirl is like the biggest brand to be Leaping Bunny certified. All of their products are completely cruelty free. They do not have any of their suppliers testing on animals. None of the products are tested on animals, nor are any of the ingredients. Very, very exciting. If you guys wanna learn a little bit more about that, cause I know you do your research very well, just like I do, I will link in the description box, um, a link that you can go to their website to read a little bit more and believe for yourself. So today is super stoked. I get to do a full face using CoverGirl, which I've never been able to do before. So excited. So I picked out some products that I wanted to use today and I'm gonna run through those real quick with you first, but I'm gonna do kind of like a like a nice like fall look um, and super stoked because now like at drugstores you can get even more products that are cruelty free, that are affordable by CoverGirl. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. First I'm gonna be using the True Blend Matte made foundation this is a medium to full coverage foundation stoked to try this out and this has a really flexible feel on the face it responds well with your facial movements without cracking your foundation which is awesome it's also available in 40 shades for eyes I'm gonna be using the true naked sunsets palette uh, I swatched this earlier and I was like I better do my foundation after my eyes <laughs> For lashes, I'm gonna be using the Lash Blast Volume Mascara. This gives you full dramatic lashes. For contouring, blush, and highlighting, I'm gonna be using the True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette. It looks like this. You've got your blush, you've got your, I'm doing this all backwards. You've got your blush, you've got your highlight, and your sculpt all in one. For eyebrows, you guys know eyebrows are very important. So um, about this one, I'm very excited to use this. This is the Easy Breezy Micro Fine and Define Brow Pencil. This is thin enough to kind of create those like really nice little hairs that like, I like to add in the front because I don't have a whole lot more self. I got this in a few different shades, so I'm not really sure which one is gonna work for me, but typically I like to do two different shades to make it multi-dimensional. Super stoked to try this one. For 
the lips, I'm gonna be using the Exhibitionist Lip Kits. You're covered with this kit. It comes with the lip liner and the lipstick. Since I'm doing like a smoky look, I'm gonna do like my eyelid area first and then just do my foundation after, like you guys know I like to do. So I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer. This is in shade light medium. Hopefully this is the right shade. <laughs> we'll work with it. I just definitely need concealer. My skin has been like, I've got like a pimple hanging out here, here, over here. Um, Aunt Flo is in town and, um, you know, uh, relatable, I guess. I don't know. This has nice coverage without being like too, too thick. Like some concealers, I'm like, whoa, I put too much. It's like way, way too thick. This feels good. Feels like skin. I'm excited to use this palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this guy right here and a little bit of this one. Holy heck, <laughs> so pigmented. <laughs> Love it. Just gonna apply this right in the crease area. This matches my shirt so well. Just gonna build this up in the crease to start my smoky look. This is like silky smooth blending too. This is nice. This year has seriously like flown the F by who's with me. Like I can't believe that it is November. <laughs> it's so insane. Now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend this out. To deepen this up just slightly, I'm gonna go in with just a touch of this guy in the crease. So I fully watched and binged Sabrina. <laughs> I first watched it with my mom. We were in Mexico for her birthday and she was like, my mom is Mormon and she's like, it's way too like demonic. I can't watch it. And so I ended up like, I was so drunk when we were watching it. I wasn't even sure what I thought. So I had to rewatch it. And I was like, ooh, I like this. It's like literally just a show. So I'm like, okay, I love this. And now I'm like, when is it coming back? For the lid, I'm gonna take this guy right on the end here and just place that all over my eyelid to work in like a really nice like burnt orange look. So good. I love like oranges and cranberries and everything together, especially for fall, like it's so good. Just dragging this like slightly outwards. I don't know why I just like always gravitate, gravitate like towards that like shape. I just like it. Moving on to the skin, I'm gonna be using two different shades of this. Um, this is a primer. I love that CoverGirl realizes that there is not like a one size fits all primer. So they have different primers depending on your needs and what you're trying to achieve with your skin. This is the True Blend Base Business Skin Primer. This one is color neutralizing and it has a slight green tint. So if you have like any red going on, like I do, I do. I'm gonna be using this um, for kind of the center part of my face. And then this is the skin smoothing one that I'm gonna be using on the rest of my face. So starting with the skin smoothing primer, I'm going to place this on my forehead, chin. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It feels really nice and smooth and hydrating too. I need this in a perfume scent, please. Please and thank you. Whoa, got real excited. Oh, these smell so refreshing. I'm obsessed with the scent of these. The green one is also really good if um, you have kind of like an uneven skin tone, like I do, like over here, uh, like just like acne scars and whatnot. This will help reduce the appearance of uneven skin tone before you even start with your foundation. So you have like the perfect base. I'm gonna conceal this pimple a little bit with darker concealer since it is sticking up a little bit to try and not draw attention to it. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the True Blend Matte Made Foundation. This one is in L30, just for reference in case you and I are the same, you know, skin tone right now. Ooh, I already am liking the texture of this. It's like, it's like whipped, but not too thick and not too thin. Ooh, this is a um, medium to full coverage. I'm just using a damp beauty blender up to apply this because it never fails me. This looks really nice. Like my skin still looks like skin, which is great. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the L50. I think I need slightly darker, but I like to mix my foundations. Um, that's just kind of how I've always done it but I'm gonna mix these guys together. This is giving nice coverage, but it still looks like skin. I don't know, I've kind of come away from using like super thick foundations as like I get older and just like in general, like I still want my skin to look like skin. So that's why using primers that are really gonna help you achieve like your specific skin needs is like are like really important. Who saw the new Grinch? What do you guys think? I posted on Twitter that I was gonna go see it and then I totally got lazy and just sat on my couch. This looks really good. I like this a lot. I just got totally lazy and sat on my couch and ended up not going. 
but I still want to hear from you guys what you thought. Like, is it worth it? I was like, I'm going to go and just like judge it. And then I was like, uh, I think I'm just going to sit at home, like on my couch and like just dream I'm at the movies, but not actually get up. I don't know if you guys have seen my couch, but it really lends itself to like lazy TV watching because my couch is super deep. And so when you sit down on it, you don't want to get up. One thing I'm liking about this foundation too is that it's like a nice matte finish, but it's not so matte that you just look like you're wearing like, like a slab of paint on your face, like that you applied with a paint roller, if that makes any sense. As I said in the beginning too, this uh, foundation comes in 40 different shades so that everyone's covered and it's got a wide range of tones to fit your skin tone. Going back in with our concealer, make this face, it'll help you apply it better. Just melts in so nice. Got my little baby hairs. I'm actually used to like even thicker concealers than this. Like not super thick, cause I'm not a fan of giant thick, like like tons of coverage, but this is really nice. It's just melting into the skin, like blending perfectly with the foundation. And it's got like, it gives you enough time to like blend it out into your foundation. It just kind of melts in there. Base on, we're looking good. Okay, what's next? To smoke out this look even further, I'm gonna go in with a charcoal eyeliner and this is the Perfect Point Plus eyeliner and this one is in charcoal. This is really cool because it's actually self sharpening, which is rad. And then you've got a little smudger on the other side. I'm just going to apply this in the lash line and I'm make it thicker on the outer edge here. It's super, super easy to apply. Now I'm gonna take the smudger and I'm going to smudge this out a bit. No, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do the waterline too. Now we're getting smoky. This is really nice too, because you can really work this into your lash line with the smudger tip without having to add like more product. This guy also comes in a bunch of different shades, so you're not just stuck with the charcoal. It's got like navy, khaki, like a really nice cranberry, like burgundy, so. I'm gonna take the tiniest little bit of this guy and this guy and just kind of meet this up out here and go underneath it slightly. For mascara, I'm gonna be using the Lash Blast Volume Mascara. I'm liking the way that this, oh, oh, this can't take me anywhere. Um, I like how this is shaped. It's gonna really pack on the product, lengthen the lashes for a more dramatic look. This helps keep the lashes really separated, which is nice. Sometimes they clump together and it's not a good look. Yes, lashes. Okay, looking good. For, I'm gonna do a little bit of mascara on the bottom. It's kind of rocking my world over here. My lower lashes always take so long to build up. Not today. For brows, I'm gonna be using the Easy Breezy Brow Micro Fine and Define Pencil, not this shade. I'm gonna be using two different shades today. I'm gonna be using Soft Blonde as well as Soft Brown. I can get away with both of these because I have the darker here and then the lighter here. And I feel like it adds like more dimension to your brows. The great thing about this is this is super, super fine. So I personally like to add really nice like little um, hairs that look like real hairs. And so this is gonna allow us to do that. Brush my five eyebrow hairs up. Yes. You don't have like a super fine like brow pencil and like little hairs are like what you like to add. It just makes it so much easier. Now I'm gonna pop in with soft brown. This is really, really thin. It makes it really easy to go in here and do this. Alrighty, well, uh, those might be my new fave go-to brow products cause digging this. Like I feel just so much better when my brows are like on my face. Like, I don't know what it is. It's just like, all is right in the world when my brows are done. One of my favorite parts of doing my face is the contour blush and highlight. So we're gonna do that now. For this, we're using the all-in-one True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette. Boom, right here. Um, this is uh, Bloom Babe. So first I'm gonna go in with our little contour shade over here, which looks really nice. It's not too cool. It's not too warm. Let's see how it looks on. Oh, very nice blends into the skin really, really nicely. just like melts in there. I really like the pigmentation level with this. Like sometimes like you get a contour that's just like, and it's like way too pigmented, hard to work with. This is like the perfect amount of pigment where you can like build it up where it's not too like scary aggressive, but it also just like builds up really nicely. It's gonna be the perfect shade to contour my schnozzola. I can just feel it. I'm loving this shade. Like this tone is like perfect really, really like it. Sometimes like 
it's a hard it's hard for me to find like contour shades that are a nice shade that blend in with the skin really well but aren't too like too cool or too warm like because i'm kind of like usually in the middle and this is perfect for that contour my nose i'm obsessed with this shade actually looks so natural Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. It's like, feed me breakfast, what are you doing? For a highlight, we're gonna use what's in the palette right here. This is like such a gorgeous, like peachy pink. Um, I like to add my highlight before I go, oh, look at that. I liked, this is like playing with the eye look really well, like the pink and the cranberry, but it's like barely pink. It's really pretty. I like to do my highlight first because when you put the highlight on top of the blush, I feel like you can just see where the highlight ends like real bad. And so I like to just kind of fluff in the blush like after to blend the highlight and the contour all together. I love the shade. It's like such a pretty like peach. This is like gonna be my new, new like travel go-to. I love when everything's all in one, so much easier to deal with, travel with. I'm actually gonna take this and put this on the inner part of my eye area right here, because I really like how this is mixing with this cranberry. It looks really, really pretty. And I'm also gonna put it on my brow bone. Obsessed with that highlight. Now I'm gonna grab this. I'm interested to see how the shade's gonna look on because I feel like it's gonna match the eyes really well. But let's just see. Oh yeah, that's blending in like so nicely. I like the shade on my skin tone. Those like go together freaking flawlessly. That was a very well curated palette, I must say. They like blend together like Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, we are almost finished here. Last but not least, one of my other favorite parts that just like pulls the look together is lips. So we're gonna use the shade Streaker. It's this really nice kind of um, peachy, mauve pink that's gonna match with this look real well. Ooh, look how this lip liner is shaped. That's fun. So these come in three different finishes. There's metallic, there's demi matte, and then there is cream. And these are super hydrating, which is great because my lips have been really dry lately because I'm not drinking enough water. So <laughs> the moisturizing formula is gonna be perfect for my lips. I was like putting like chapstick on earlier. I was like, oh, you can't have like flaky gross pimple and flaky gross lips. You can't have two in one video. You know what I mean? But it's kind of relatable because it's real life. Oh, I'm loving this shade. You know what I like to do with lip liner a lot, which this makes it really easy to do. If you flip it this way, you have a way finer line that you can draw out the edge of your lip with, really perfect for uh, over drawing. And then if you do the flatter side, you can fill in a little bit more and line that way as well. But like, I like to fill in my lips usually before I put the lipstick on. So that's perfect. I'm all about things that help make my, uh, makeup application process easier. My camera literally died while I was doing my lip liner, so I decided to pop some lashes on too. But let's go ahead and finish these bad boys up. Now we're gonna fill in with the lipstick. Ooh, nice and silky. I love that the lipstick is slightly lighter than the lip liner, because I always like the lip liner to be slightly darker. This lipstick feels really hydrating. It was super pigmented, easy to put on. I love that little duo. I'm loving the shade of this lip. This lipstick is really pigmented and it's like, I love that it's not like matte matte, but it's not like shiny either. It just feels really hydrating and pigmented. Finally, full face cover girl, done. Loving it. Um, I am really impressed and like, Loving this color scheme. Loved this. I think this is awesome. I'm gonna be traveling with this. This is great. It blended out really well. I'm really loving the foundation. I was interested to see how it kind of settled in, but just like the formula says, it's really kind of been flexible with my face. It's not really setting, settling into any like fine lines or wrinkles or anything. And it looks good. Like it looks like skin and the color is like spot on perfect. Very exciting. I love how affordable everything is. You guys, you and I, we now have have a way bigger variety to choose from and you can pretty much get CoverGirl anywhere. So it's affordable, it's good quality, it's cruelty free and Leaping Bunny certified. So this is a win-win, very, very exciting. I'm stoked to show you guys 
different looks using CoverGirl because it's just amazing that you guys can get it pretty much any anywhere and everywhere. I'd love to hear if you guys have specific products that you've been eyeballing. I'd love to try it out for you in a video, maybe an Instagram video or here on YouTube, but please give this video a thumbs up if you are behind CoverGirl, becoming cruelty free and wanna see more looks using CoverGirl products because I can definitely do that. I can get behind that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything will be linked in the description box below that I have talked about. So like if you wanna learn more about CoverGirl girl's commitment to uh, becoming cruelty free and being cruelty free. I'll link that. Um, and then my first video that I did announcing it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye foxes. Hey, did you know that cover girl is now certified cruelty free? Did you, did you know that? Did you know that? Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Did you want some cover girl makeup put on your face? Okay, I think I got just the shade to um, accentuate your little snaggle tooth. What do you think? Are you in?